It's a great honor to welcome you all to inauguration of the local organizing committee of the 14th Kana Africa Juniors and Senior Swimming and Open Water Championship to be held in Accra, Ghana from the 11th to the 17th of October, 2021. Kana is a continental association charged with overseeing any form of aquatic sports in Africa and was founded in the year 1970. The Ghana Swim Association unanimously won the bid to host this year's junior and senior swimming and open water championship at the Ghana Bureau meeting held on April 17, 2021. Ghana won this bid based on its successful hosting of the Africa Zone 2 championship held in Accra, Ghana last year. The upcoming championship forms part of preparation towards the 2023 All-African Games to be held in Ghana. For the success of, of this championship, a local organizing committee is imminent for the planning and organization before, during, and after the competition. They will plan the logistics required for an outstanding championship and after ensure the safe departure of the contingent that participated or participates in this championship. They will also evaluate the success or otherwise of this championship to ensure we learn and do better for future events. I believe the committee members who are yet to be inaugurated have the cap capability to organize successful competition to make the Ghana Swim Association and Ghana proud. I and my executive team will support and encourage them with all that they will need to make this a success. We thank the Minister of Youth and Sports, the Director General of the National Sports Authority, for their keen interest and participation in making sure that Ghana stands tall at the end of it all. Thank you all for coming. We appreciate you and we look forward to you helping us organize a successful competition. Thank you. The Director of Sports Development, Madam Vivian Dublo. Madam Farida, it is. Uh, today, I think it's a very important milestone that we are all to witness. The, this is not the first time Ghana has successfully hosted a competition of this kind in swimming. I think not long ago we had one and it was adjudged one of the best. And I'm not, I'm not surprised that they want to push more to us. This also is an indication that Ghana is actually prepared and ready for the African Games that we are going to host in 2023. People are saying that, can Ghana do it? Already we are doing it. We have done it. And for the swimming that we sent our Boku Jackson and Unilis, Techi, right, to go and compete on behalf of Ghana in Tokyo. The only two athletes from swimming. And you remember the heat, Abeoku could top it. Yeah. If he had been athletics, Abeoku would have been in the finals. And this gentleman continued to break his own records and records after records, breaking all over. And I would not be surprised that with all these competitions that we are hosting and sending our athletes also elsewhere to represent, I'm very confident that Paris 2024, Abeoku will win the gold medal. Amen. After this particular competition, we are going to send athletes who will perform and excel, especially representing Ghana, to go to the Commonwealth Games, Birmingham, next year, 2022. So there's a lot of competitions ahead. And from Birmingham, they will also then be featured in the African Games here, Accra, 2023. And after 2023, 2024 Paris Olympics, these young men and women will be representing the nation. I'm inviting the economists of Ghana to also to be active in de uh, developing models as uh, research works to tell us, us the impact of sports on our economy. I think that is, is, is great. All of you sitting here, the media, you are all connected to companies. You are bringing news and information in sports. Ghana, about 400 and so uh, radio stations, 300 or so TV stations and so on and so forth. You discuss sports every morning, every afternoon, every evening. Sometimes even about 2 a.m. you are discussing sports. And are you telling me that all these products that are out there are not making impact on the economy? They are. Except that we don't have the data. The economists should take interest to let us know the contribution of sports to our GDP. On that note, I want to commend you and congratulate you uh, for coming up with this particular competition, the hosting right that you have secured. We will support you and I encourage members of the LOC also to be able to do their best to give us the best of competitions on the continent. Thank you so much. We all like to swear that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Republic of Ghana as a member of the local organizing committee of the Ghana Swimming Association.
that I will uphold, preserve, protect, and defend the constitution of Ghana and integrity of the National Sports Authority. So help me. The President of the Ghana Student Association, Mrs. Delphina Quay, and the executive members of the Ghana Student Association present. Um, the media that has always been supportive, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the chairperson for the NOC that has just been sworn in, um, he's out of town at the moment. So um, it's an honor for me to stand in his shoes to say, a very big thank you um, to everyone involved in um, nominating and choosing us, approving us and swearing us in to um, represent God and country in organizing the upcoming um, competition that will be from the 11th to the 17th of October. Um, I'm sure you all agree with me that we just have a few days to go actually, it's just less than um, a month, three weeks to go and this is going to be a very tough job but we embrace it and we know that with the support of the National Sports Authority, the Ministry of Sport and everybody here present, especially the media, we appeal to you to send our word out there. Please make noise for us because without you, we won't be seen. We need support to be able to carry this on well for Ghana. Just like Professor Chumetsi said, Ghana is embracing sports and we will need everybody's support to embrace the sports and be loud enough for us to be heard worldwide. So we are appealing to the media here that make noise for us encourage people to come on board and sponsor us because this is a very big competition that has never happened in Africa, having the juniors and the seniors. And we need to host and host it well. We need to host it in a way that when they go back to their various countries, they would advertise Ghana. They would let people in their countries know how beautiful Ghana is, how receptive we are. So in addition to promoting our sports, let's also promote our tourism when they come in. And we call on the media to help us do that. Thank you very much, Professor Chumisi. And um, we accept this and we would work very hard. And at the end of the day, we're going to make you proud. With God on our side. Thank you. It hasn't been easy, actually. I mean, we need money to organize such competitions. We reached to companies, to corporations, and we are also seeking from the youth of uh, the ministry and the director general. We've written to all of them, and we are hoping that we'll get favorable responses from all those that we've written to, to help us, up, to support us in this bid. In, yeah, we have, to corporate Ghana as well, we have so many companies, so many corporations, but so far, but we are hoping we are going to do a follow-up and we hope that they will heed to our call to help us organize this. You see, this is going to be like a precursor to the 2023 uh, African uh, Games. And if we are able to organize this well, it means that Ghana is ready to organize the 2023 All-African Games and expensive sports. We don't have uh, public swimming pools around to help us bring up more swim swimmers. Parents have to pay for their children to learn to swim. And parents have to support their children to go further in swimming. So like we did for Abeku, we are hoping that other children or other parents are going to help their kids to come up more. I mean, training sessions are not easy. Most of these kids are in school. And for swimming, you need an everyday training to get to the level that Abeku is now, or to get to your potential. So we are, we are appealing to the parents. They need to help their kids out there, to bring them out for more trainings, for more competitions. We should be able to organize more competitions, but we need the help of, like I said, Corporate Ghana and everybody else who, who has the interest of swimming at heart to help us do this well. Um, yeah, the, the last one was just for um, a section of Africa. Um, this is the whole of Africa. But that was a prepping period for us. I mean, we learned a lot from the mistakes that we did during that time. Though the um, Kana president saw it as very successful, obviously, we saw our shortcomings and we have since learned and um, we are bringing that experience into this one. And definitely we are well prepared. Okay. 
Correct. That's our challenge. We don't have corporate Ghana supporting us. At this point, we would need to actually take our swimmers into camp. I mean, those that are available now. We do have our topmost swimmers out there. We have Abeku in Kazan. We have Unilis in, um, in Italy. But we have the rest of the swimmers here. Ghana has a whole team. And um, we would want to take them into camp and um, make sure that they are well fed. They go through their routines and all that. But obviously, we don't have the funds to do it because we have no headline sponsors and that is the problem so we appeal to corporate Ghana swimming it's one of the disciplines that I mean actually took Ghana to the Olympics out of 45 swimming was one of the five that did so that should tell them that swimming is coming up and we're coming up really fast and we are appealing to them to support us we definitely can do it. We can do it with your support. You are here right now supporting us. So with people like you, the media is very, very important in what we're doing now because without you, we wouldn't be able to host it. So with your support, we definitely can do it. With um, I am not going to say that they should ensure their kids are part of swimming. There are a lot of sports discipline. Of course, obviously, they should encourage the um, kids to join um, any other sports discipline. But swimming comes across as one of the sports that... Um, it trains the whole body, obviously. I mean, swimming is a low-impact sport. And um, I, I know I, I've heard all these things about swimming being expensive in Ghana, but that's not really the case because when you go to um, most of the swim teams, there are some of them that actually train the kids for free. And if they're able to get in touch with a swimming association, we can arrange um, some teams for the kids to join and all that. Yeah, so I encourage everyone who wants their children to join swimming to um, bring them on board. I'm the second vice president of the Swimming Association. Thank you.